The Royal Melbourne Hospital has some new staff members who work like machines. Robots Peter and Susan are employed to autonomously navigate through clinical corridors and up and down floors, transporting vital medical equipment to doctors and nurses. They've got a robotic brain and they're able to call the lift, uh, it magically opens, the robot goes in. Entering lift, please stand aside. For now, the automated hospital orderlies are being used to deliver sterile equipment, but can also carry medications, waste, even patient meals. They're travelling about 15 kilometres a day and making uh, over 150 deliveries uh, to and from the operating suite. So they're, they're pretty busy. The intelligent machines can sense obstacles and manoeuvre around busy human colleagues. Crossing intersection. Please keep clear. When I look um, at these robots, I feel incredibly jealous. Everyone would love one in their home to help out. Um, but this will really make a difference in terms of the workload and the quality in our hospitals. Helpful droids, once futuristic fantasy, are now being employed across industries, becoming bricklayers, autistic teaching aides, even shop assistants. Hello, I am Oshbot, the Orchard Store Robot Helper. What are you looking for today? But rather than worry about technology stealing their jobs, Royal Melbourne staff are happy to share the heavy workload. It means that they're not straining their backs and doing that pushing and pulling um, constantly. In any busy workplace, it's important for someone to be designated to do a regular coffee run. But for now, these robots aren't allowed anywhere near the cafeteria. I think it just means that we're going to be seeing these robots in our corridors a lot more. Exiting lift. Please stand aside. Emily Rice, Nine News.